a 40 volume developer and for the toner I got the Wella T11 it this one's for lightest beige blonde or blonde beige clear something and then with that I have uh, this cream developer um, and this one is a 20 volume from well as well and then I also got um, these gloves um, and these ones are reusable and then a mixing bowl this one's super nice because it has a thing here where you can take the color out or whatever when and like maybe to help not spill into it over everywhere and then just a brush to clear my hair so this is what I got from Sally's and this is what I'm gonna use to color my hair. And another thing I forgot to mention that we need is a foil um, paper roll because you will be leaving your product and um, on your hair and covering it with this so it gets time and um, stuff to activate and give you the color and not spill everywhere else. So here we have our foil. So the first thing, like I said, we're going to do is um, take this quick glue um, bleach one um, and I have three packs. Uh, the girl at um, Sally said that I will need all three but um, we're going to go and uh, mix them gradually like first use the first packet with two ounces of the 40 volume developer and then when that's over we mix another chunk and then another chunk. So we just don't have a lot of um, product out. So we're going to go. So we open this and we put it in the hole. And I'm emptying the whole thing. So that's about this much of just the bleach powder and then um, we're going to take this body volume developer and put only two ounces per pack so this one is a whole eight ounces of bottle um, so we should have two ounces left after the whole thing so me being me i did not really know uh, what ounces like how to take ounces um so we did uh, we asked google and he told us he or she Google's he or she it <laughs> it told us that two ounces is about 0 0.25 cups which is like one fourth cups so we're gonna take one fourth cup of uh, developer for one packet of each <sighs> So most of the videos that I've seen, um, so before I went and got the supplies, um, I saw a lot of videos of people doing their hair at home. So I kind of had an idea about the products that I have to use. But when I got there, the girl, Sally's, she told me that I should get a 40 volume developer and i've never really seen anybody use a 40 volume developer unless they want to go really light so i'm a little nervous like i don't mind be going really light but then you know i don't want my hair to look weird so we're gonna mix um our bleach and our developer together Keep mixing to like all the product is in it. You have to make sure that there are no um, big chunks of bleach. And this is Pumata. She is going to help me make sure that I don't mess up. And she's going to provide me a lot of more support. <laughs> because I really am nervous. The toner is also uh, lightest base blonde for the day. I don't know what I'm going to do. But uh, lightest, yeah, it's lightest. But that's what the girl in the video also said, and I think because my hair is so dark. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
So it kind of looks like this, and it's super nice. It's thick, so it won't spill everywhere. Um, so I just brush my hair down. Um, also, um, a lot of the people in the salon say that your hair shouldn't be super fresh out of the shower. Um, it should be like left dirty for a while. So I haven't washed my hair for like two days now. Two, two days? Yeah, I think two days. So it's good. Um, and yeah, so we're going to make sure that all of my hair is untangled and untangled detangled detangled or untangled detangled untangled it doesn't have any knots um not tangled not tangled um and then we're gonna section it um i'm using this teasing comb um and it has this little metal thing that it will help me section my hair um so yeah if you have it, um, great. If you don't, I would really recommend you having it because this part really, really helps you get the sections and um, the technique we'll be using is the weaving technique. So it'll be amazing for you um, if you have this because it's gonna make it a lot easier. So um, sectioning is very important. So here I've just, because I usually part my hair in the middle, um, and it's the easiest way to get the product everywhere. Um, I've parted my hair in the middle and I've taken a section from here right behind my ears a little bit. Um, and this is going to be one section. And then I'll do the same on the other side. These are going to be the last sections that we work with. So, I, this is the part when you start looking funny. Um, so, I have put most of my hair up and left this section down here. Um, what we're going to do is, um, so we're going to section our hair. It's going to be diagonal, something like this. And, um, and then we're going to work with this section. And then work with this section. And then we're going to go into diagonals again. So there will be two diagonal sections, and then we're going to work with this. And then the second diagonal section, and we're going to work with this. And Bhumika here is going to help me um, section my hair so we can. Um, after sectioning the hair, I've clipped it. Um, and my hair is very thin, so my sections are also very, very thin. Um, and I've clipped them so um, they don't like get mixed with each other and the parting, um, the sections don't get disturbed. And then after all that, I'm left with this V right here. Now we're going to section it. Uh, now we're going to section it straight across. So this is the like, you know, mm -hmm. section of the mm -hmm. So yeah, so we have these two diagonals and then one lower. And um, first we're going to work with that and then I'm going to show you what we do next. So we're going to start with this section here. Um, and first of all, we need to make sure that, again, it's not tangled anywhere. Um, and then we're going to take, we're going to weave through the hair. <laughs> and we're going to leave this out. So this is going to have, going to still have um, our natural color. Um, and we're going to take this section. And then we're going to tease it so it gives us that blended look.
We just put color on one spot and then it's like a weird blocky color. So yeah. So we're gonna apply it all the way. And make sure you're being generous with the product because you want to make sure that you get every strand. For me, my hair is super thin so it's easier to get all of it. Um, but for people with thick hair, just say that yes, stand on it. So, as I say, as I say, offer middle me, poor up or upper jana, as I say, and poor up in me, current light, light. If you hold the brush as a see the house, pay as a tera perke, ha, as a. done with the four diagonal parts um, and Pumika is helping me to do a lot of it since I cannot really reach some parts in the back so right now we're doing the the straight section so there's two diagonals and then one straight and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing weave it and then um, start coloring on the bottom up and then when we reach the top um, imagine if this is the hair on the top, it's like we're gonna go up a few strokes here and then up here and then a little higher here but not higher than these two. Um, so it's gonna be a technique, something like that. Um, and then we're gonna go do that and also um, all of this needs to sit for 45 minutes. Um, for me, it's taking me a little longer um, and I know it's going to be a little lighter than I want it to be since um, the developer is also 40 um, volume developer and we're need just to start Acha, upar wala, upar wala. Just a second. Um, and uh, we are yeah um, and it's taking us a while since um, so but I'm not too worried because even if it goes super light, it's just gonna be, you know, we can work with it. Um, I'll just maybe get another toner. Ah! We're good. I might just get a darker toner and tone it down more or something. But I hope it doesn't do anything like that. And also you need to make sure that you're checking the color. Um, if it is going very lighter than you want it to be, maybe just wash it off. Um, and you know, keep it separate from the other parts. So it's not too much for you. But this is like, when I was younger, when I was in like middle school, high school, high school mostly, I would just experiment like I did, but they won't be like really major, different color experiments 
This one time I colored my hair burgundy and like just like burgundy highlights. Um, it was super pretty actually. Like it wouldn't really show if I'm inside, but when I was in the sun, it would really like um, show. And it was so pretty. And then this other time, I bleached my hair. Um, something like what I'm doing right now, but because I did it without a toner, it was more brassy than I don't know blonde or caramel. Um, and then I've I've colored my sister's hair a few times. That was fun. But yeah, have you ever colored your hair by yourself at home? Or is this your first time? Let us know in the comment section below because it is like it is not my first time, but I'm do I'm coloring my hair after after like four years or five years by myself. And this is Bumaka's first time yes. <laughs> coloring somebody's hair. So yeah, let us know if you do it by yourself or if you always have a friend to help you. Okay, so we're done with these two sections and then the middle section. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Um, again, uh, two sections of diagonal and then one section of, um, what do you call it, the straight. And then we're gonna get to our crown area and we'll come back when we get to our crown area. So we are sectioning my hair again. Sorry, this is a really weird uh, angle for the camera but I wanted to show you that um, the angle at which you section your first two diagonals this section is going to be a little lower than the first two sections so if you can see it here and then we're gonna go over and do the same thing again. I'm starting to get nervous because I checked this one and we're not even covered with the whole head yet. Mm. <laughs> you wanna see? Let me try to open it. That is really light. Do you see that? It's so light. Let's mm. just hope for the best. Let's just hope for um Also, I'm breaking out a lot. I think I'm allergic to something, but I don't even know. I haven't tried anything new, um, but maybe it's just jeans, I don't know. So we're trying to figure out what that is. And also, um, we still have a lot of product left of the same first pack. So maybe I think we'll only need the, the one pack. If you have more hair, like than me, uh -huh, um, or longer hair, you will need more. But we got that much, just to be safe. So we have the front and the back till here covered. Now we're going to work with this section. This part, it's too low. So, um, you can so we have here all the diagonals and the straight um, sections. Now we're gonna do last two diagonals and then, um, and then we're gonna show you what we're gonna do after that. So for this section, now we have our diagonals. Um, now we're just gonna do the straight sections um, one by one moving up to the crown. Um, so for the, this straight section, we're taking a wider weave than we were before. Um, so it gives more, um, our, like my darker hair will be seen more, um, and it's just gonna make it look more natural. So that's what we're doing here.
but um, now we are on the top section of my hair and for this section the weaves that we did were really really um, small like really thin I guess um, so it's gonna look different than other things and this is like that because this is some this is the part that's gonna stay on top of our head and then these sections will be something like that so once we're done with this also um, these lower sections are so much more lighter than I wanted it to be because instead of a 20 volume developer I use the 40 volume developer and it's been on here for a really long time because we took time to do the rest of it so once she's done with that I'm going to go ahead and take this off freaking my hair is like I will show you it's like freaking I don't have platinum blonde almost so guy like if I just put an ash uh, toner on it it will be platinum blonde my hair looks like Barbie right now <laughs> it's that blonde so I'm gonna take this off um, and wash these um, and then we're gonna leave these for another 45 minutes and while I do this this will be sitting and we're just gonna hope that I don't look too crazy after so are you ready <laughs> ah, this part let me pull it down a little bit Look at this. Oh my freaking gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's blood. Like it's. Oh my. Look at that. It looks unreal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I need I to watch really this. Good. Out. Super blonde, oh my gosh. <laughs> Why do you Some of these are still it's okay. Some of these, I don't know if you can see it if the camera focuses on it. But it does have some brassy sections on it. So I'm hoping that it does like it does look like how I want it to. Let's see if this is. Oh, this one's good. Should I, I take it smart. out? That's how I want it. Put a light, I say. It's a light. No, no, it's a light. No, it's a light. Matlab boy, it's a light. Maybe. Um. Maybe I will take it out so it gives different colors yeah, when I tone it. Yeah. So. And what I like is I don't know if you can see it yet, but the transition looks really good to me. So I'm taking this <laughs> What have I done? Is this the low which is the lower one? Yeah, this one? Yeah. Is this the color you're looking at? Yeah. 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 This is the color that we actually want. And this has darker way. parts too. So, and I think it's okay because when we tone it, um, like our natural hair is still different tones on the whole hair. It's not just, uh, some people have just black hair, but I naturally don't have just all the way black hair. I do have some browns and stuff. So this is what, this part is kind of going to give it that look. I'm not going to tone them as yet because I'll tone all my hair together. Um, What's that saying? Jo hoga, manzure khuda hoga. Wow, wow. Um, yeah, you need to make sure, like, when you go back and check your hair, you need to make sure that it doesn't have sections, like bigger sections or spots, actually, that doesn't have the bleach on because then. It's just gonna look really really weird on your like when you blow dry your hair it's gonna look really weird so make sure that um you re like give it a retouch whenever you check your hair okay 
So now all of this we're gonna leave for 40 to 45 minutes. So I did take it out and I washed it and it's not that bad. Like, yes, I get it that this section, where is that section? There's one section here that's super light. This one right here, and the others. But I think when we tone it, it will be perfect. So I'm not worried anymore. Now we're gonna move to this section up here. Um, what we're gonna do is we can take this Um, I'm gonna do um, so when you part your hair um, there is always a section that comes like right here and that is supposed to be the lighter one because it just makes your hair look nicer and it shows the color when the sun hits it it's just really really pretty so I'm gonna go ahead and do that so for that I'm gonna take off some hair right here We're gonna worry about those later. So we're not going to tease here, but we are going to be. I need Bumega, I cannot do anything without it. So we're gonna make sure that on the top it's a little lighter that we're not going to simply put it on the top, but we'll cover the other parts as usual. This part again weave it and just put the foil in without teasing it okay so this part's done now we're gonna check these a little bit make sure that it's not going to light um so now we are we're done with the front pieces now we're working with the side pieces so we have this whole section um, and again, we are going to do this in two parts. So we're going to take one section and then we're going to move a little over here and take another section and the same thing. We're going to weave and we're going to dye it or bleach it. Yeah, so now we're just doing the same thing on the left side. <laughs> so let's go down. So for this last section up here, we have two more sections left. Here we're gonna take diagonal sections and um, we're just gonna do three sections out of which the two we will uh, put the bleach on but the last one the top one we'll just leave it um, and then we're going to do the same thing on the left side.
just rinsed all my hair out and this is how it looks there's lots of different colors Um, also, in this bowl, I mixed um, my. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk like this. In that bowl, I mixed my toner with the developer that comes, the cream developer that comes with the toner. I just mixed the whole two bottles. It says we have to mix one part of. Um, the toner with two parts of this right with two parts of the developer um and it's all it was almost the same so i just went ahead and mixed the whole thing now we have to apply this to the whole head so it needs to get into all of the hair and then we're going to leave that for about um 10 to 20 minutes maybe and then i'm going to rinse it off and then i'm going to show you how it actually turns out this doesn't look that bad though. But yeah, let's see how it looks. But just the thing is that I did not want to go this light. So um, even the parts that I took out before it went to dark to light are like brassy even after the toner. And I don't like that at all. So um, my best friend and I um, had to run to Walmart and I picked this up. So this is um L'Oreal Paris um, Excellence Cream and this is in the shade 6RB Light Reddish Brown So this is the color you see it. Um, And this is how it's gonna work on my hair and since right now I do have all these shades in my hair and I have some black too So these are the kind of shades that I'm gonna be having in my hair after I do this um, I could leave it like this but I really 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 don't think I'm ready to go this night and I don't even like it because it has a lot of orange undertone and stuff and um, yeah I am not a fan of how my hair looks right now so I am going to put this in and how you do this is um, it comes with all these things. It comes with the developer, the color cream with Pro Keratin Complex. Um, and then it comes up, comes with the conditioner treatment with collagen. And um, so yeah, so you mix all of that um, in here, the developer and step one and step two in here. And then you just, and I'm just gonna put it on all my hair. Um, so it changes into this color. And I think it'll look really pretty. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the conditioner and um, Yeah, doesn't say how long I have to leave the conditioner in but But yeah, so I'm gonna go do that um, Actually, what do you guys think? Do you guys do you guys like this? This look if you do let me know in the comment section below because um, I want to be coloring and changing my hair more um, in the coming year so maybe next year if you like it if it, you think it looks pretty I might go to this hair color um, so yeah let me know um, in the comment section below and give me a thumbs up if you do like this if you don't then stay tuned and wait for how my hair is gonna look after I apply this baby okay um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how it's turned out, like um, the sectioning and everything paid off and the time that we put in it, but it's just that the color, I'm not a fan of this color on me. So yeah, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and let's hope for the best and hope that this 
does the magic that we were looking for. because I went in detail about how you can get this look and um, I promise you that if you follow these steps you will end up with a really really pretty hair color which covers everything and um, gives a good light to your face and everything so yeah guys if you do like this video please um, like it and share it and do hit the bell icon so you can be notified every time I post a new video and also please please don't forget to subscribe we're at 160 something let's hit it to a 200 before this year ends yes no yes okay um then yeah i will see you guys in my next video let's make spazzle up go viral my lovelies bye